Stephen here from HowToWaterPedPolePerfect.com and I've got really great responses from all you guys, loads of emails uh, and phone calls asking for advice and as well on the business training course. So thanks very much for all those inquiries and sign-ups. Uh, I got a really good e email there the other day from a guy in Liverpool called Nabir. Uh, now Nabir, you've lost your job, sorry to hear about that. And you were wondering about starting up a window cleaning business with the water fed pole and you were wondering should you do it is it as true as you read on the internet um and just how to start so what i'd say to you nabir is there definitely is money to be made in window cleaning um being an entrepreneur being your own business um person is a great um, choice in life. You have loads of freedom, you're your own boss, money that you are making is for yourself. So I love it and if you're thinking about it there's a chance that you'll really love it too. But before you go jumping in to buy loads of equipment and to start an up window cleaning there's just a few things that you should know about first and first of all the equipment is quite expensive so what you really need to do if you're starting out from absolute zero you have to think how am i going to get around well if it's water fed pole system you might need to buy a van you might need to buy the all the equipment which might cost you a grand two grand um all in total you need to think have how are you going to get your water into your van if you do do it for instance do you live in an apartment uh, would it be difficult for you to get water to your van or do you live in a house where you have an outside mains connection where you can just connect straight into your van and that would be relatively easy and if you're thinking of starting a window cleaning business on a very small budget and perhaps you're thinking of starting to do it the traditional way and not with the water fed pole system so you're thinking of using ladders steps and climbing equipment well have you had any experience in that before because i i've done a video if you want to look it up on ladders and steps and you know what ladders and steps are dangerous you, you really do need to be properly qualified to climb a ladder uh, there's so many guys out there that can tell you of bad experiences that they've had with ladders coming off of ladders breaking bones it's it's a real high risk and so much so that some insurance companies won't even quote you for things like life assurance um salary coverage for being out of work from an accident because ladders are so dangerous so if i if you were to start window cleaning you have no experience at height i'd say to you please avoid using ladders and doing things the traditional way because the risk out there is far too great of falls and doing huge damage to yourself. I think it, the statistics are one to two window cleaners are killed every year in the UK from falling from a ladder and countless more from injuring themselves. So I'm not trying to scare you. Look, I climbed ladders for years and years and I, I was fine. I didn't have any accidents. But you really need to have a good hard think about that. And if you're doing it with a water fed pole system, the water fed pole system, especially if you've never cleaned windows before, it's not just a tool like a screwdriver that you can pick up and be proficient at it straight away. It takes months and months of training and practice to get that good. The investment could be to get everything absolutely done and dusted the way that you want it, could be five grand. Is that the kind of investment that you want? And then business is not just going to start coming in your door. You might need to go to network meetings. You might need to advertise Facebook page, possibly a website, other forms of advertising, uh, branding, uh, branding then on for a uniform, for a van. So it's not that simple to set it up. And then you'd be surprised how work, it's really hard to generate many of us who've been at it years and years in my case 15 years um we've built up that loyal customer base and because we're set with our branding and things getting new work or winning new contracts could be slightly easier than a newcomer so for instance when you're winning new contracts many contracts have in the stipulation list have you three five other jobs to the same scale as this so i'm not trying to put you off nadir but at the same time, 
Um, I've seen far too many window cleaners start off on the promise of earning great money, uh, working for yourself. They've seen, they've heard all the benefits, but they've not heard um, all the warnings. And it takes dedication. It takes hard work. It takes belief. It takes training to and lots of time of that to get you where you might need to be and that's where my training courses are great that i can condense a lot of the months and years it would take you to get great into a very short amount of time to help you to be successful so really you before you invest in all of those things and you mentioned numbers like it you've heard it's possible to earn 30 pounds an hour and wouldn't that be great you've projected that over a year to imagine what you can there are also other things hidden costs perhaps like accountants insurance van running costs machinery running costs um, all of those kind of costs that you might not see going in at the very start so it's really worth sitting down with a notepad and paper working out all the possible costs what you could possibly earn and how you would get there but you know what there's so many of us that are so glad that we have we love the freedom we love working for ourselves so again are you the kind of person that would be motivated to get out of bed at six o'clock in the morning to go and fulfill contracts that you have are you that kind of person that's so self-driven that you're going to get out there and make this happen they're really only questions that you can answer for yourself so I hope that uh, video was helpful for you, Nadir. And if you have any more questions, be sure to drop me them in an email and uh, I'll try my very best um, to answer them for you. But I'm not trying to put a downer on it. It's great that you're looking for other things. Your mind, you're obviously, you've finished in one course of life and you're looking for the next thing and that's really commendable. You're not sat at home uh, trying to uh, get mopey, you're out, you're watching YouTube videos, you're trying to see what's the next best thing for you. Um, but before you decide that window cleaning is your next best thing, you really need to answer these few important questions. And indeed for any of you out there that are wondering about starting a window cleaning business, it can be a great thing, it can transform your life. But you have to be the kind of person first, you have to as I've said, have that dedication, motivation, training, skill to be able to do it first uh, before you go and spend thousands of pounds on something that doesn't work. I'd hate to guess at the percentage of window cleaners that start and stop. I'd say the percentage is crazy high because I've seen it. Um, so forearmed, uh, Forewarned is forearmed, and that's my advice to you. So, more coming from me at Stephen at HowToWaterFedPaulPerfect.com. Any questions, leave them at the bottom of the video, and I'll try my best to answer them in forthcoming videos. Thanks very much, and uh, keep on Waterfed Pole Perfect. Thank you.